Austin Matthews looking to become the first ever with three consecutive hat tricks. And it doesn't feel like an average Monday night, does it? A great outlet pass by Klingberg Bear. Just the quick transition that almost created that chance. Here's Lucas Reichel to Johnson. Korczynski, the shot, turned aside by Wool. Here's a loose puck in front of the net to the club stop. And Wool's going to pull it back in after a save on Taylor Radic. Get yourself into that regular season game action. And look at the patience there, not overreacting. There's Noah Gregor trying to feed the point, and it's Taylor Hall pumped, but he heads in along with Bedard and drops it off. Donato stopped by Wall and a rebound. Here's Hall back to the line. Jones and Donato unable to tip that. Cycles it around to the near side. Giordano moves up to punch it for Tavares in front. Nylander, nice stop by Sonnerbloom get back there. Here's good pinch in by Giordano. Now Tavares knows exactly where Nylander was but there's a nice save by Soderbloom just keeping his good position. Got the blocker on it and and now Bedard trying to pull away. Nice burst. Connor Bedard in. Forehand and a big stop by Wall. A rebound in front and it missed Hall. What a dangerous dash for 98. That deflected wide by Hall. Taylor Hall's on it again, back to Bedard. At the line, Zaitsev can't get it to the net. You know, covering the space, he's got his head up the entire way, puts the puck to an area and uses his feet to get him to the outside. I like the fact that he didn't just go to the outside, he took it hard to the net there and he tried just the quick backhand forehand. The last time Noel Gregor was in a fight was against Carter Murphy last season. I don't know if you saw those stats there, eh? Perry's got more penalty minutes than Reeves does afterwards, but a heck of a pass by Klingberg on that one. Now Nylander lets it go and hit a leg and went into the corner. The Cape played 130 games as a member of the Blackhawks. Seth Jones up ahead. Now Kachuk over the line, in whistle. Kachuk, after the seals, shot by Wool. Now centering pass and scores! McKenzie and Twistle opens the scoring as the Leafs give up the first goal for the third consecutive game. Line, as I said, and Twistle comes in, gets his first opportunity of the year. Does a good job coming through the middle of the ice. One good save by Joseph Wall there, but a chance to clear the puck and a little miscue defensively. Both Klingberg and McCabe missed their assignment here, a missed stick by both of them, and then Trissel gets that one off the post and in. Now Lilligren firing it, and that got through with Tavares providing a screen in front. Back the other way, Felino cut off by Lilligren. One more game on the extended road trip to start. Great move, Nylander's in to the middle, drops, Tavares scores! It's a beauty for John Tavares on the Nylander setup. Right through training camp, through the exhibition game. It's just it's a great move at the line that turns Murphy around. Now a little drop pass. and just a perfect setup right on the tees for Tavares. A drop pass for a lefty coming across the middle of the ice. And he puts it exactly where he needed to. Up and over the glove, between the glove and the ear of the goaltender. Now Bedard drops it back for Seth Jones. And Hall, break wide. Here's Bedard. Whoa, stop. Joseph Lowe. Seth Jones shot now just a little hesitation he had to Corey Perry steps onto the ice puck arrives and now Vlasic for Polino back to Perry walking in bought off rebound in front and panned on and Tavares clears and away goes Nylander may have a step Nylander can't get it to the net and now we'll cycle it to Yarncroke Matthews has stepped on. Here's Morgan Riley. Another dangerous burst by William Nylander in behind the net. Nylander tied up there with Jones. And it's sent away. Breakaway. Corey Perry scores. Oh, the old leaf killer has struck again. And it's 2-1 Blackhawks. Wow, you had a sequence of just end-to-end -end action. But a heads-up play here 
by Vlasic. Tape to tape, and the quick wrister. The calm point to the crowd. Look at Perry just sees. He got a change by the Maple Leafs. He gets lost in the distance. And how about a great outlet pass by the young defenseman Vlasic, and then the quick release under the, the blocker. Giordano on the scene, and the backhand swipe by Yardko, kept in by Jones, in front to Nato. Now Hall, Taylor Hall, in behind the net shot, off the post. He'll try and limit that, bring it down. Here comes Tyler Johnson, asking to see you. Over the line, Johnson, split the D and scores! Tyler Johnson, first power play goal for Chicago on the season, and the Blackhawks have a two-goal lead. You've got a guy who's won the Stanley Cup in Johnson, who's off to just a fantastic start, as he just drives right through the middle and shows great calmness and patience. After the see to his backhand in the pass, and Joseph Wall thought he was going to go high there, and just a quick little release underneath the glove. That's a tough move for a goaltender to react to. Connor Bedard, three and six in the faceoff circle, and each of those draws against Austin Matthews, who wins possession for Toronto to start the third. Trying to pin him along the boards. Bertuzzi up with it. Back to Brody. Brody shot the slot and off the crossbar. Matthews with the deflection on the shot pass by Brody. Watched by the veteran Polino. Back to Riley and across. Klingberg, Riley, and Nylander. Down low in front. Great stop by Soderblom. And how did that stay out? As well, far as he can. You're out that number down right by the net is three leaps against two. And just a little shuttle pass. And the rebound was right there. Soderblom gets his, gets his pad right up against the post is the first tip he makes a good save it's the second one if the score ends like this perry would have his first ever game winning goal against toronto which just seems hard to believe there's a empty net goal for taylor hall and it's 4-1 chicago side to get that one in taylor hall back after missing the last game with a shoulder and he puts it in so Taylor Hall looking now going, the fact that they're looking at it is something in its own right. The tight it's going to be. Let's have a look with the bouncing puck that he has control. Oh, no, I, I don't think he ever really had control, right? This one is going to come back. You know, we, we've seen so many different cases of controlling the puck. After review, the play was deemed to be offside and before no one in the play. So it's still 3 1. Tavares leads, so Matthews to take this face off. Back to Nylander. His shot hit a leg. Radish is going to send it the length of the ice into the net. Now it is 4-1 Chicago. Oh, off the draw, everybody's focused. The Leafs get the win, but it just as Riley's coming through. Nylander's trying to get it to the front of the net for a rebound. Can we finally end this? Thing? I think so. That was six seconds to go, and the clock will drain. The Blackhawks are 2-2. Two two. A win in Connor Bedard's first appearance in Toronto.